this is the all new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and it has a pretty good camera. But do you know how to make the maximum out of this? Because this camera is packed with a ton of awesome settings. So in this video, I'm going to be going over all the settings and giving you guys all the details so that you can make the maximum out of your new Galaxy S10 device. So if you're excited for that, smash that subscribe button right now and let's get started with today's video. Let me start the camera guide by first showing you guys how you can access the camera on your Galaxy S10. First off, from the lock screen, you can just swipe up on the camera icon and the camera will quickly open up or else once you're unlocked you can go ahead and hit on the camera icon that is there to open up the camera or there is a third option which i already showed off in my tips video for the galaxy s10 by the way in case you guys haven't checked that video yet definitely go ahead and check that out that's gonna be real useful for your new galaxy device so uh, how you can access the camera, this is the secret way. You can just go ahead and double tap on the power button and the camera will quickly launch up. It's called quick launch and there is a setting, there is a dedicated setting for that under the settings of the camera to enable quick launch. So definitely enable that uh, in case that is disabled on your device because that's a really useful feature to have. So uh, let's say you want to quickly open up the camera. Even if the device is idle, you can quickly open up the camera using that. Now let's go ahead and start talking about the camera by initially talking about all the settings that are available for the Galaxy S10. The first option that is available is called Scene Optimizer. And this is basically the AI enhancement for the images. So there is an option to uh, seamlessly enable or disable this so scene optimizer is over here it's able to recognize what sort of object is there in the scene and it will optimize the image based on that if you uh, go ahead and scan something with a lot of green it will bump up the saturation or depending on the scene it will use ai to enhance the image so if you don't want scene optimizer to be enabled you can go ahead and hit on this button and turn it on or off uh, on the fly and that's really convenient to have next up we have the shot suggestions so if you enable this the device will tell you how to properly uh, line up your image when you're taking a good shot so the device will be able to tell you uh, whether this is a good shot or not and when it identifies a good shot it will go ahead and automatically capture it so for an example as you can see right now it says best shot and it has recognized that this is the best placement to capture this photo and if you just go ahead and hold it over here you can easily shoot a picture like that next up we have the flaw detection so using the flaw detection mode on the s10 series the device will tell you if someone blinks in your photo or if the lens is uh, dirty or uh, whatever so in that case you can go ahead and clean up the lens or if someone blinks if motion photo is not enabled you can go ahead and reshoot that it's actually good to know that something is wrong with your picture rather than uh, figuring it out later on so you can enable this uh, option uh, definitely because uh, it's definitely a very useful uh, thing to have and the motion photos comes up next uh, the motion photos that i brought up under floor detection so with motion photos these are similar to live photos on the iphone so what happens here is uh, you can just go ahead and capture a picture like this for an example and you can view the motion photo like so and the best part here is with motion photos you can even go ahead and slide like this and capture the best moment in that motion photo or you can save this as a video as well so let's say this is the best use case for this is let's say someone blinks in your photo you can go ahead and um, scroll, to, uh, scroll through the image and identify which uh, position suits best for your image and then go ahead and capture that and it's that simple definitely a setting that you must enable on your new galaxy device 
Next up, uh, we have a hold shutter button to take burst shot. You can go ahead and enable uh, it to take just one picture or you can uh, create a GIF. So basically, I uh, personally recommend to have the burst shot feature because you know at any point if you want to shoot a burst, all you have to do is just go ahead and hold up the power button and it's fast as a machine gun. You can quickly shoot up a bunch of pictures just with your device. The option is yours, uh, use it wisely. Next up, we have the save options. So here we have some new um, efficiency, high efficiency formats uh, for on the Galaxy S10. So we have the GIF uh, format for photos. You can uh, enable this if you want. This will actually take up lesser uh, space for your images. I personally recommend you to enable it, but the support for it isn't uh, superb at this point so you might face some support difficulties on certain devices but i personally recommend you to enable that uh, so that it takes up lesser space if you have 128 gig uh, device definitely this will come in handy next up uh, we have raw copies if you are using pro mode you can um, save your images not only in jpeg but also in raw so if you are using uh, applications such as adobe lightroom or photoshop you can make the maximum out of your image by uh, uh, editing it and tuning it exactly the way you want because raw copies have all the details stored in that image. Next uh, up is the setting where when you're taking a selfie, let's say, um, you know, sometimes the selfie flips, right? So this option is for that. Uh, if you don't want the image to be flipped, if you want the selfie to be exactly as it's uh, shown here in the preview, you have to have this option enabled. And next up, we have the ultra wide angle shape correction. So what this will do is this will automatically correct the distortions in uh, images when you ca capture pictures with the ultra wide angle camera on the S10 uh, Plus. So what is meant by this is, you know, that fisheye uh, type of effect that we see on ultra wide angle pictures. So this is basically for that. I personally like that look, so I'm not going to enable that, but it's up to you. If you want, you can go ahead and play with that and see how that uh, fits uh, into your uh, type of photography. So next uh, we have the selfie shape correction so you can um, enable this and the device will automatically correct the shapes in faces using AI if you want you can go ahead and try that. Next uh, we have the settings for videos and here you can you have various options for videos. First off there are various aspect ratios that are available for the devices and afterwards you can even change up the resolution. So by default it's set to full HD but you can go up to a maximum of uh, 4k at 60 frames per second so uhd at 60 frames per second on the galaxy s10 plus however you will only be able to use video stabilization if you use full hd if you use uhd you will not be able to use the stabilization feature on the s10 series next up for the front camera again we have similar settings even here you can shoot at uhd so you can enable whichever option you want Next up, we have under advanced recording options, the HEVC format to save space when you're shooting videos. So you can definitely enable this. The, this again might not be supported on all types of devices, but it's definitely great to have when you're shooting, um, especially if you're shooting 4K videos on your device. And the S10 um, series also has HDR 10 plus video recording support. It's currently under beta uh, conditions, but you can definitely try it out. And if you enable that, the HEVC format will automatically get disabled, uh, but you can uh, shoot awesome videos using HDR10 plus on your S10. And if you have a compatible HDR10 plus display, a TV or some type of display with support for that, you can enjoy viewing that on that. Next up, Going back, we have the video stabilization options. Like I mentioned before, uh, the video stabilization will only be enabled if you are using Full HD. If uh, for some reason you don't, uh, you can't actually enable this, then definitely go ahead and adjust your video recording settings and you will get the video stabilization option. Next, we have the HDR uh, option uh, for you to enable. So what this, this will do is it will actually uh, take up a bunch of shots when you're taking a picture and it will go ahead and combine all the pictures and give you the best looking picture using HDR. So uh, definitely a setting that you should enable on your device. And next we have the tracking autofocus. So 
The device will automatically focus on an object if they move using this and if you enable the tracking autofocus option the video stabilization will automatically disable if you uh, have this uh, autofocus enabled you won't be able to turn on video stabilization next up we have the grid line so the options are three by three or square so this will actually help up with the grids so when you're taking up a picture you can uh, nicely go ahead and align uh, according to the grids and uh, use the rule of thirds when you're shooting uh, nice looking pictures next up we also have a square option so this is great if you always shoot uh, try to shoot uh, in square mode in the regular photo mode using this this will show what the square size actually is so you can optimize your picture based on that next up we have the location tag so you can enable this option uh, to track your location of the images so later on this will be extremely handy especially in the gallery uh, you can sort the images based on the location it was shot in and even if you're editing the picture later on in uh, a software like adobe lightroom you can definitely make use of this and even google photos will be able to make uh, maximum use of the location tag so definitely i recommend you to enable that and next up we have the camera mode so here you can go ahead and edit up the camera modes that are available on the device so if, let's say you don't want to use the foot mode just disable that if you don't want the panorama mode you can disable that other than the photo and video mode you can disable any of the other modes and you can also um, you can uh, line it up the way you want if you use the panoramas a lot you can uh, bring it up forward and adjust it the way you want and the way you use and next up we have the mode the last uh, keep using the last mode and what this will basically do is let's say you always uh, shoot slow motion videos so if you close up your camera ui uh, with in the slow motion mode if you have this enabled the next time you open up the camera the slow motion mo mode will automatically open up and this is how you can um, you can you, this will make your life so much easier because uh, if you're always shooting uh, slow motion or if you're always shooting videos this will be really useful next up we have the shooting methods and under this there are actually various ways that you can um, utilize the volume key the first option is to take a photo or a video the next option is you can uh, use the volume buttons to zoom or you can adjust the system volume so i personally like to have a take picture or record video so what this will do is when you're in the photo mode if you just hit on the volume button volume up or down button it will quickly shoot up a picture so definitely a handy thing to have on the device uh, especially if you're using that if you're planning to use the device underwater by any chance this will definitely be a useful setting next up we have voice control so you can there are various commands that are available on this device for you to control the device without actually touching it for an example you can say something like capture and just like that I shot this picture using my voice. There is even support for recording videos using this option. However, it didn't work for me. For an example, let me show you that. Record video. Or even if I'm in the video mode and say, record video. It doesn't uh, actually recognize that. Maybe it's my accent, I have no idea. Uh, so you can uh, try that out if you want. And next up we have the floating shutter button if you want to have a floating shutter button you can enable that and next we have the show palm so with this what will happen is uh, let's say when you're in selfie mode if you just show your palm like this the device will take up a picture as you can see right now it took this picture uh, because I use my palm so that's pretty convenient to have as well finally we have the quick launch setting which i showed initially and then we have the quick preview so with this what will happen is if you enable it every time you shoot a picture like this the picture will automatically pop up so you can uh, explore the picture and if you don't like it you can delete it share it edit it or do anything you want talking about editing there are actually various editing tools that are built into the device so you can um, go ahead and rotate the picture you can apply various filters or you can go ahead and add various stickers or you can add even text for an example if i want to say and dollar i can do that uh, and uh, there's even support for uh, doodling so you can draw whatever you want and uh, 
finally you can adjust the brightness the exposure the contrast the saturation and you can uh, personalize this feature without using any sort of uh, third-party photo editing application finally we have the reset settings option so with this if you think you have screwed up somewhere in the camera settings you can always go ahead and reset all your camera settings by using this and that should solve any of the problems that you're having so with that we come to the end of the camera settings and now going back there are various options that are available on top first we have the bixby vision so this is uh, similar to the high vision on huawei devices so you can use bixby to identify scenes and objects so uh, since bixby is not set up on my device yet i don't think i'll be able to show you that uh, but this is what the ui actually looks like so if you want to use this you can go ahead and give it a shot next up we have we have the ar emojis so with ar emojis they have given up uh, give a, they have actually included this time around with new uh, characters so we have characters like this with complete scenes uh, but uh, i don't uh, really see a big improvement in the quality though uh, i personally believe that uh, apple's animoji does it best when it comes to ar characters on your devices uh, so far uh, i think uh, based on what i have found uh, i think they are doing the best job and you can even create your own uh, ar emoji using this so you can just go ahead and select uh, based on your picture and it will automatically go ahead and create your own ar emoji so let's quickly see what it looks like so this is what the galaxy s10 things I look like what do you guys think do I look like this let me know down below in the comment section so you can use your AR emoji uh, anytime you want and you can do all sorts of things for an example when I'm talking right now my AR emoji is actually working uh, similarly to the way I'm talking and uh, it's there yeah, it's fun to use if you have some time to clear next up uh, let me explain the settings on top the first one is the settings cog and we have already gone over all the settings for the camera and afterwards we have the option to enable the flashlight we can put it on auto mode or we can completely turn on the flasher or disable it next we have the timer so we can adjust the timer for two seconds five seconds or 10 seconds based on how you want to use next we can quickly change up the rate the aspect ratio and finally we have the filters so you can change up the look of your image in real time without much effort using filters so that option is also available if you want to use towards the bottom we have uh, in the middle of the screen we have uh, the option to zoom so the galaxy s10 plus actually has multiple cameras at the back it has three cameras at the back and this is how you can easily switch between the three cameras so the first the leftmost uh, option will show you the ultra wide angle camera the middle option will show you the regular camera and the uh, the rightmost uh, option will show you the telephoto camera and you can make use of this to uh, easily switch between the three cameras and you can even slide through this area to zoom up to a maximum of 10 times on your galaxy s10 plus and you can adjust the zoom based on uh, the type of photo that you're trying to take and on the right hand side again we have the scene optimizer like i mentioned before and below that we have the various modes that are available which i'll come to next and uh, on the left hand side at the bottom we have the place where we can visit the gallery and uh, the, in the middle we have the shooting button the shutter button and on the right hand side we have the camera switcher so using this we can easily switch to selfie mode so pretty convenient to have and you can as always you can just uh, swipe down like this to switch to selfie mode which i have always found to be really convenient on samsung devices now going in, going through the various camera modes that are available on this device first off we have the food mode so like it mentions it's uh, basically a food mode if you're trying to take a picture of some kind of food you can try to use this here's a camera sample of a food mode picture that i shot with the galaxy s10 plus next up we have the panorama mode that you all are familiar of 
so here's a panorama sample from the Galaxy S10 Plus. Next up, we have the Pro mode. So if you want to take, if you want to make fine controls to all the pictures that you are shooting, if you want to adjust the ISO, the shutter speed, the focus, or anything manually, you can use this mode to adjust uh, the things the way you want and fine tune the picture to be just perfect for you. Next up, we have the live focus mode. So this is the portrait mode that is available on the Galaxy S10 Plus and there are various effects that you can apply this time around. First up, we have the blur mode, then we have the spin mode, then we have the zoom mode and finally we have the color point mode and uh, here are some samples of each of that. Next up we have the photo mode, so in the photo mode like I mentioned before you have various options to adjust this and uh, shoot the pictures based on how you want. So here are some camera samples from the Galaxy S10 Plus. Next up we have the video mode and in the video mode you can if when you're while you're recording a video you can always pause the recording or while the video is being recorded you can even shoot pictures using this and the best part is you can switch seamlessly between all three lenses of the Galaxy S10 Plus so that's I think a great thing to have because you can always switch between the camera modes and uh, make the maximum out of your device. Next we have the super slow motion mode, so like we saw first saw on the Galaxy S9 last year, we have the super slow motion mode. After you record a super slow motion video, you can actually open it up in a special editor and the Galaxy S10 will even add in an automatic music effect to enhance this video. Pretty cool stuff and you can actually adjust the place where you want super slow motion to be. But keep in mind that super slow motion videos are 960 frames per second and they are super slow. 
Here's a camera sample using the super slow motion. Next up we have the slow motion mode and this is the slow motion mode that we had from before. So uh, here's a slow motion sample from the Galaxy S10 Plus. Next we have the hyperlapse mode. This is basically the time lapse mode. Uh, so I think all of you guys know what a time lapse is. So here's a camera sample from the Galaxy S10 Plus. In video mode, there is a very important setting up here called Super Steady that you should enable. This is similar to the feature that we find on the GoPro Hero 7. So this is the GoPro Hero 7 over here and this also has this uh, feature built in. So if you enable this, you can get Super Steady uh, videos using the Galaxy S10 Plus. With the Galaxy S10, Samsung has also introduced a dedicated Instagram specific mode. So if you make use of this, you can capture pictures that will fit Instagram stories perfectly. You can use the telephoto mode or the normal wide mode or the ultra wide mode to capture Instagram specific pictures. This applies to both the rear camera as well as the front facing camera. So if you want to capture that perfect selfie for Instagram, you can make use of this Instagram specific mode on the Galaxy S10 camera and directly share it on Instagram from there. One thing I noticed is that the pictures that I captured using the Instagram mode are quite tall. I think that is to adjust to the Instagram story aspect ratio. So here are some camera samples from the Instagram mode. And finally we come to the selfie mode and all the settings at the top are almost the same and at the bottom here there are two modes for you to switch between uh, there's actually a wide mode and a crop mode so what Samsung is actually doing is they are not actually using two sensors here they are they are using one as a depth sensor for live focus uh, on the S10 plus however if you cover up this lens and try to switch the uh, to uh, switch between the two modes you will see there is no difference it's not getting covered up so that means this is the primary camera uh, that the device is going to use so anyway we have the photo mode and the video mode uh, for the uh, front facing camera and we have the live focus mode for you to shoot some uh, awesome live focus images with the S10 plus so here are some camera samples using the selfie mode So those are all the camera modes that are available for the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus. Well guys, that's about it for this camera guide. I hope you guys will now be able to make the maximum out of your new Galaxy device. If this video was helpful, definitely go ahead and smash that like button and hit on that subscribe button right now for more awesome tech videos just like this in the future. Definitely don't forget to go ahead and share this video with all your friends all over social media as well. And definitely stay tuned to AndroidAll.com for all the latest from the tech world. And you can follow me on social media. I am at AndroidAll. All the links are given down below in the description. Well guys, that's about it for this video. If you have any comments, drop a comment down below. And until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu. Bye.